Hi everyone, I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy. This is your weekly energy and tarot reading where we talk all about what's going on with the weekly energy, the collective energy that impacts each and every one of us and how we can make the most of it. So this is how we do it. I first start with the channeled messages, the messages that have come through, through my angelic connection. And then we pull some tarot cards to build upon the messages. So I'm here a little bit early today. I have a little time in my schedule, so I thought I'd pop on early, get these messages out there for you guys so that you have them for the week. So first of all, how's everyone doing? Because like, I, I feel like this energy is still kind of skin crawly. I think we're getting a lot of collective downloads that we're processing. I also, I mean, we're in cancer season. And for me, whenever we have shifted into cancer season, it, it's emotional. It's uncomfortable. It's, um, and not always, right? It gives us an opportunity to explore our emotions, to connect with our emotions, but it can feel uncomfortable. So if you're feeling that discomfort, know that this is something that is part of this energy and we want to just acknowledge what we're feeling, honor what we're feeling. A, a lot of times these emotions are coming up to give us an opportunity to work through them, to see where there's still healing that's left to do, to see what we need to understand about ourselves or about where we need to go or about what we need to change. And so this isn't something necessarily that we want to avoid, but it's, you know, it can be uncomfortable. So we want to allow it. This is where all of those skills, we've been prepared for a long time to, we've been developing our tools, our skills, all the things that we need to help us to balance when the energy is intense like this. And I think that we're going to find we are in a bit of this intense energy for a little while in that like there's a lot happening. I think there's a lot of energy around magic and manifestation and creating the things that we want. So I think some of what we're feeling too is like, um, you know how people get like pre-wedding jitters where they're like, oh my God, like I, I, I'm nervous about this change that I have coming in, but I'm also very excited. It's a little bit of that energy that I'm feeling where it's like, like this preparation for that and this understanding that our lives are preparing for some significant shifts. We have a lot of changes that are coming in, but also the excitement of the knowing that some really beautiful, incredible things are coming in. But sometimes when we're preparing for the manifestation of the things that we have been attempting to manifest, when that starts to come in, that can be a lot. It can be a lot to process. It can be a little bit like, oh shit, it's like shit's getting real, right? Like this is a little bit of that shit's getting real energy or we're feeling the energy of that starting to happen, starting to develop. So we have all of that going on. So we want to just be kind to ourselves. We want to be kind to each other, right? Because everybody is a little bit edgy. So maybe we want to give ourselves a little more grace. We want to give other people a little bit more grace because I think that people are a little bit more snappy now. People are a little bit more reactive now, ourselves included. So be mindful of that, right? Take the pause. Take your time to respond. We don't have to rush into anything. It's okay to just take your time and feel through it because you may feel very different one day and then the next day feel completely different around that just because of the level of emotion here. We want to make sure that we're being mindful to not let our emotions get the best of us. We want to honor the emotions without letting them get the best of us. It, it can be a tricky balance that we're in. But I'm also feeling this energy such a powerful shift in terms of value. So I think I called this video something like your value is going up because they very much feel that, right? We've been talking about this energy of, I bring my unique magic into every room that I enter. I bring value into every room that I enter. And we've been talking about holding that energy, carrying that energy. And through this process of doing that, we're raising our vibration. We're, we're letting the the universe energetically understand what our value is and what we currently value. And so with that, we're seeing some significant levels up in terms of value, our perceived value, what we value in our lives. We're redefining, redefining our value and also what it is that we value in our lives. So we might be exploring that a little bit, right? And taking a look at some things. I went through and 
canceled some some things that I had subscriptions to and things like that. Just looking at that saying, do I still value this? Is this still something that I want to invest my money in? And there was a lot of no's in that. And so I think that it's a good time for us to take a look at things like that. Do I still value these things that I'm spending my time on? And do I want to make some adjustments to that? Do I feel like I need to make some changes in regard to what I'm investing my money and in, what I'm investing my time in, whatever that is, but kind of allowing ourselves to be led. I think that this energy is calling for us to shake that up a little bit, right? So you may find that you are making some changes to some things that you have invested your time, your money in for a long time. But it's like all of a sudden we just don't feel as connected to those same values and our values are elsewhere. And we really want to make sure that we're following that. I think that more and more connecting with our most authentic selves and that is causing for us to look at our values and explore that a little bit. And, and through this process, it's like we're sending out a signal that we value ourselves at a higher rate, right? So we may see that that's looking different in our lives. We might find that all of a sudden we're just, we have an expectation or, uh, this, this understanding that we now are creating higher value, higher, vibrational manifestations into our lives. We're creating better things for ourselves, right? And we're noticing that that's happening already. We're noticing that we're feeling better things coming into our lives. We may find in this energy that we're raising our standards around some things, right? Some things that maybe once were okay, no longer are okay for us. And we're starting to understand, I have this value and my expectation is that the things that I incorporate into my life are going to rise up and meet those standards, meet that value that I now carry. You might even find for those of you that, for example, have a business or something, you might be raising your rate. So you might be doing something financially, or you might be uh, asking for a raise here in this energy. Like all of a sudden, like, you know what? I deserve a lot more here in this and I'm, I'm looking for a raise or I'm looking for another position that's going to be a better fit for what I now value in my life or just raising what it is that we're asking for in our day-to-day -day life, uh, in, in our expectations of things. And so wherever you're feeling called to raise that, I would be really curious. Please let me know how this is showing up for you guys. What are you, where have you raised your value in some way, or where are you redefining your value in some way? I think there's going to be a lot of this this week. So it's going to be important for us to take a look at that. So let me know in comments, but also if you guys are watching this on my YouTube, make sure you hit that like button. Please hit that like button too on my Facebook. All of this helps with the algorithm. It just helps more people to connect with these messages. And also if while we're going through this, you're like, oh, so-and-so needs to hear these messages and this is exactly what they have going on, please send it to them. That just always helps to support. Some of you guys are absolute rock stars and share my videos all the time. And I'm so, so thankful for that. So however you feel called to share this or to connect with this, I really appreciate it. But this is part of how I'm raising my value, right? Is in really wanting to raise the value of what it is that I'm sharing with all of you, but also really uh, wanting that expansion in terms of these messages going further than they have before. So I have this whole process that's happening. I also feel like in terms of, of value, there's this energy of, um, this is a little hard to explain, but the first thing that I got with that was like this energy of the things that we're manifesting almost competing for us, right? So I feel like there's a lot of manifestations that are coming in all at once. So uh, how could that look? That could look like, let's say you're manifesting a specific type of relationship in your life. And all of a sudden you have several people kind of feeling like they're competing for your energy that that show up in similar qualities that are kind of matching that manifestation. Or maybe you're looking for a specific job and then all of a sudden you went from like no options to many options. So there's this energy of options, right? And part of this energy with the options is may the best option win, right? Let it all unfold. Let it all 
develop because I think in this energy, we're really being called to be a bit of an energetic contortionist, right? That's part of what, what I connected with, with this energy is an energetic contortionist. So this willingness to bend and flow and move and watch it unfold because I think that there's a lot that's happening right now. And I think even from day to day, we might have new information, new manifestations, new experiences. And so it's all unfolding and calling for us to go with that flow and be willing to move and adjust and refocus and shift with wherever this energy is taking us, I think that it's going to be pretty magical. And I think that there's a lot of really beautiful surprises in the mix of this energy. I've been talking to about just making sure that we're taking that time to do intentional manifestation in some way. So that could be creating vision boards. That could be just setting intentions. That could be doing some form of manifestation writing. Whatever your favorite manifestation techniques are, there's so many that are posted on YouTube. I have lots of that up in my Clarity by Christy membership at claritybychristy.com. And by the way, lots of tools to help you to navigate all of this uncomfortable energy that we have going on. Uh, so we, um, we want to make sure that we're balancing ourselves out in this energy. Sorry, I totally lost my train of thought. So also speaking of that, losing my train of thought, I think that time management and focus is going to be really key and going to be a nice tool for navigating this energy because what's going to happen is your emotions are going to want to pull you out of it. Your emotions are going to want to pull you into a little bit of a kind of like a zombie energy, right? Where you're just a little like not sure where to start, not sure where to go. It's difficult to focus. It's difficult to know what to do. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed. So you're feeling like a little bit shut down maybe, or maybe a lot shut down. And so this is a great time for us to really utilize those skills that we like to use or the strategies that you like to use to manage your time, to refocus. And so it might be really helpful to incorporate some kind of a routine into your day right now that you know is going to help to keep you on track with things or to utilize your favorite way to do a to-do list or whatever that looks like for you. But don't drop the ball. I think that there's a lot to make happen in this energy. So we want to make sure that there is movement, that there is time because as we get further out into July, we're going to see this energy is slowing down more and more and more. So really this is the time to, to take care of this stuff and to be focused on being intentional and using our time in the best ways possible. Let yourself switch things up, let things move, let things change. There's a, there's a lot of really beautiful things that are happening here in this energy. Are you guys noticing? Are there changes that are happening for you? What's been going on? Where are you setting yourself free? I just saw that eight of swords. I wouldn't be surprised if we pull the seven of cups today because to me, this energy is very much that we have options, right? We have options. If you don't have options yet, options showing up, uh, indications of options showing up. And again, it's like may the best option win. You know your value now. You understand or you're moving more in that direction. You understand what you actually deserve. And um, I think there's like less of a willingness to tolerate less. Just like, no, like that doesn't, that doesn't work for me. I think there's going to be a lot of that doesn't work for me energy and a lot of, oh wow, this does really work for me. This is really great. This is really aligned with where I'm at, where I want to go, what I'm calling into my experience. All right, let's see what these cards have to say. How are you guys doing? What's going on for you? Where are you noticing that you're leveling up your value? I do also want to highlight that speaking of tarot, I have my learn to read tarot course while I'm pulling cards. I'll talk about that. My learn to read tarot course that is up on my Clarity by Christy site. It's just claritybychristy.com. And that course is 10 modules, 10 classes. And it's all about learning how to read tarot. It's, it's about learning to read traditionally, right? So the traditional meanings, it's about learning to read intuitively so that from the first class, you can start to read tarot for yourself. 
it's a pathway into learning how to connect with your own intuition because there are so many symbols and things that are meant to sort of prompt our intuition in the tarot cards. And so that is on sale for $50 off right now if you use the code love tarot. So it's L U V and tarot all in caps. And I will put that below too. Definitely something that uh, we're going to want to, you might want to explore if you've been interested in learning tarot. It's, it's like very in depth. It's also adding Oracle cards, a little bit about the Lenormand cards, a little bit of everything. So you want to check it out. All right. So anyway, let's check out the cards. The High Priestess in reverse. So we are going to be feeling more connected in this energy. But sometimes when you're feeling more connected to the flow of energy and to your intuition, yes, you're going to be connecting much more with your intuitive messages, right? Cancer season is, is very much connected with our intuition and our dreams and these kinds of things. So you're going to find yourself feeling more connected to that, but it also can feel emotional. And so you're going to want to take your time to tease through what's coming through because sometimes like some things that are going to come through, your emotions are going to tell you, Oh, this is the truth. Or this is, this is, uh, you know, you're going to tell yourself some stories about things when you're feeling emotional about something. And that may not be your intuition that's trying to show you. So if you could just like take a pause, take some breaths, take a little time to process things and make sure that you still see it the same way, feel the same way about something before you respond. I think that's going to be your best bet. And, and I find that a lot of times intuition comes through in a way that's very neutral. So it's not necessarily emotional. I also feel like paying attention to where are my emotions showing me? I need to change something. I need to raise my value. I need to make an adjustment with something so that this works for me from this point forth. So that this works for me moving forward. Three of wands. I feel like we've had this card a lot lately. Three of wands is not only beautiful manifestations coming in for us, but us going out to meet the manifestations, right? Like sometimes I see this person being willing to hop on these boats. So when your manifestations come in, are you going to be willing to take the leap, to hop on the boat, to, you know, the things that come in. Sometimes like we think that we want something and then when it shows up, it's like, Ooh, I don't know. I'm a little scared to move forward. And I do feel that energy here this week. So this willingness to move forward, this willingness to shake it up, to do things differently, to move forward in your life in a way that feels really good and positive and soul led, but also it's probably going to feel scary. Nobody said that following your soul path, your spiritual journey, your most aligned path was going to be without fear. Uh, I think that a lot of times it actually is the opposite. It's calling for us to have courage. It's calling for us to be willing to go after the things that, that we are feeling called to do, right? Like we have the universe, we have God, our angels, guides, whatever you want to call that, working on a lot of things for us as we manifest them, as we set intentions. But we also have to follow those uh, divine instructions, right? These, these assignments that we're given that feel like, you can tell, they feel like divine assignments, but what am I being shown I need to do in order to help my life to progress forward in some kind of a positive way. Maybe I'm feeling like I need to set a boundary, set a limit, right? Again, raising our value, raising our standards. Uh, maybe I'm feeling like I need to make a change, but pay attention to what's coming through for you because this is supporting us in our manifestations. But that being said, I think that we have a lot of really beautiful things that are coming in in this energy. The death card, the metamorphosis card, this willingness to allow things to change, to let it flow and to be as detached from specific outcomes as possible. I think that that's really important right now. Paying attention to where you need to make some changes and these kinds of things, but also again, becoming that energetic contortionist. Oh, that's clearing out of my life. 
I'm going to let it go. Or if this isn't heading in the direction that appears to be what I'm looking for, not getting too caught up in that and trusting the process, right? It might come in in a different way. There, again, there's a lot of surprises in this energy, but also what do we need to let die? What do we need to let go of? What do we need to let come to a close in order to be able to fully step into the direction that we're going, right? I'm noticing this week, I'm making some changes to some things that are things that like have been connected to my life for a very long time. And in for some of them, like they're very silly little things, but I don't always love the change of it, right? But I, I got these clear indications like, nope, you're being shown, it's time to make a change. And so, I'm choosing to honor that. And speaking of that, right on the other side of that death card, we have the King of Wands. Where are we, where are we being shown that we need to step into leadership, that we need to lead other people, that we need to lead our own lives, that we need to work together with God, with the universe to lead some kind of a path in that way, I don't know, I get a very strong leadership energy with this, but I also get a very strong energy of, again, it's going to be so important for us to focus on, well, to focus on time management, getting things done, taking care of what needs to be taken care of. This is the time. Again, don't drop the ball. I just keep feeling like that, right? Like this is like, we've got to like get in it. So whatever actions you're feeling like you need to take right now in this energy, we want to continue to go after it and keep going with that. We're building something really powerful with this, but we have to be willing to go for it, to do it. But I also feel like with this King of Wands, like there's so much success with this, right? We might find that we're, we're feeling seen, that there is success that's happening, that we're being invited into certain things, or that we're, we're starting certain things ourselves. Like we're developing things. We're, uh, taking action on some important things, or we're noticing like, wow, I've really come a long way. And I really have stepped into this leadership role in my life, in my work, in my relationships, whatever that is. Again, this concept of bringing value into every single room that you enter and knowing it knowing that you bring that value because when you hold that energy that helps you to continue to raise your value raise your vibration raise the level of manifestations that you're experiencing and here's the page of wands what are you feeling called to start that's new what are you excited about what are you feeling enthusiastic about what is lighting your fire for you right now what is pulling at you like oh you you really want to like you you've got to get to work on this and like a, a lot of times this is an energy of something that's exciting but maybe it also because it's new feels makes you a little nervous right this is like i don't know i'm just like getting this like grabbing the bull by the horns kind of energy so getting after it and taking care of it and making it happen so there's this playfulness with this energy too and we're being called to do all this, but to be playful with it. I also think that this is us seeing ourselves from new perspectives and seeing what we deserve, seeing what we bring to the table, seeing what we want to create in our lives and beginning to take the steps this week or building on the steps this week to continue to level up with that. And then the last card that we have here is the two of swords in reverse. I, be careful not to get too caught up in our minds. I think the emotional state, and I think all of this, like these downloads that we're receiving are a lot on our bodies right now. I, it, it just feels very, um, I don't know, my whole body has been buzzing this whole week. And so it, there's a lot that's happening. And I think that it's really easy to slip into our heads and and stay there. But if we stay there and just get stuck in this battle between these parts of ourselves, we're never going to get shit done. <laughs> this is a get shit done week. This is a get shit done. This is a stay focused. This is managing our time. And, and so this is not a great time to get lost in our heads. And so if you don't know what to do with something, just ask for the next step. 
just or or just take the next step. This is what I in this moment feel called to do. And doing the best that you can as we're navigating this energy to be taking action and to be building upon those actions that you are taking. Not letting those parts of yourself that are wanting to do battle take over and tell you things that aren't really true. Continuing to move forward like the brave warrior of love that you really are and and taking those steps. This is so key. So be mindful of that. Be aware of that and understanding that you might be seeing something like, okay, like it can be this or it can be this. And when really it can be something totally outside of what you see as within the realm of possibility. So don't box yourself in, in terms of options or don't get too caught up in believing that something isn't manifesting because it's not happening in the way that you perceive that it needs to happen. We have to trust. We have to have faith. We have to, or or we, well, we don't have to, but we can choose it, right? Because I think that faith is so key in terms of continuing to honor our soul's journey. God never promised us that it would be comfortable. God promised that he would make us better, that he would co-create with us and help us to fulfill the life that we intended ourselves to learn, live here on earth. And so trusting with that, again, being that energetic contortionist and not getting too caught up with trying to box anything in or making it need to be any specific way and try not to get too caught up in the frustration of all of that. Because yes, we can get emotional and we can take that time to honor that emotion, but you don't want to live in that emotion, especially here in this energy. It's, it's not the time. For that, I think that if we spend too much time with that, we're going to miss out on some beautiful windows of opportunity that we have. This energy is very much windows of opportunity if we choose to take them. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you all so much. Have a beautiful day. And if these videos resonate with you, please like them, share them, comment below, whatever you're feeling called to do. If you're watching this on my YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you haven't already, I will see you soon with another video. Take care.